we're reading The Lion King. Oh, my favorite. Make sure you subscribe so you can be our friend. And give us a thumbs up. Oh, so the hot African sun rose on the amazing sight of the Kanga Gedi. And there's zebras and giraffes and elephants and all the animals gathered around to see the new lion cub. King Musafa and Queen Serbi watched as Rariki, the bamboo monkey, hold up the little cub on top of the mountain so all the animals could see. Oh, and then Musafa's brother was very angry. The kingdom should belong to me. You should have been at the ceremony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, should I have, brother? Yes, brother. You should have been at the ceremony to support the family. Hmm. Well, the little baby cub was named Simba and grew, grew into a playful and curious cub. Every day in the morning, Musafa brought Simba to the top of Pride Rock. See, son? All this out there is yours. One day the sun will set on my time here and you will be the new king. Wow, cried Simba. Isn't it beautiful? You mean I'm going to be king of that? I want you to be king, Dad. Yeah, I'm a Lion King, but I'm training you, my son, to be the next Lion King. Oh, a king can do whatever he wants. Yeah, that's really cool. There's more than just ruling. you got to know things, son. Oh, Dad, you're so cool. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I love you, son. Look at that. What's that? A little cricket and grasshopper. There's so much in the world to see and to do. Oh, it's so cool. Just then, Zitsu arrived with some important news. Hyenas had crossed into the land, the Pride Land. Matsuba told Z Zuru to take Simba home and run off to battle the hyenas. Oh, back at home, Simba went to see his uncle. Hi, uncle. My dad just showed me the whole kingdom. It's so cool. One day, I'm going to rule it. <laughs> Is that cool? Oh, really? You're going to rule? Did he show you the place beyond the rocks? Or did he hide that from you? I dare you to go to the elephant graveyard. Oh, he didn't show me that. Oh, I wonder why Dad didn't show me that. Huh. That's interesting. Simba set out to find his best friend, Nala. Hi, Nala. How are you? Hi, Simba. Oh, she was lying with her mother by a nearby rock. Hey, Mommy. Hi. Want to play with me? We've got a ditch Zazu. He's following us and always watching me. Can never do what I want. Dad has him spying on me. Well, they do want their children to, to have someone to watch over them to keep them out of trouble. So, Simba and Nala laughed as they ran in and out of animal herds to escape the Zazu. Oh, and then he snuck into a gray elephant graveyard. Together they played tumbling and rolling. Suddenly what they thought, they landed next to a huge elephant scalp. Really creepy. Oh, wow, scary. And all of a sudden, hyenas came in. Oh, Banzu, Shinzi, and Ed were drooling hyenas with sharp teeth and surrounded them. Hello, little gum. Hello, welcome to my teeth. I will bite you and eat you. And the hyena grabbed Zazu's first. Why don't you pick on some on your own side, you little, little cup? Suddenly, a tremendous roar shook the ground. Roar! It was Musafa. Roar! His giant paw struck one of the hyenas as he growled, If you ever come near my son again, the hyenas ran away before he could finish. And so, Oh, Dan, I shouldn't have gone there without you. Musafa scolded his son on the way home. You disobeyed me, Simbu. I was just trying to be brave like you, Tessa. But being brave doesn't mean you go looking for trouble. Oh, but I was just curious. I just wanted to explore. Well, son, there's so much to see in the sky. But home with you, where I know you're at, is always nice. Yeah, Dad, I love being with you. <laughs> oh, spoils. You didn't get the little cub. Well, we tried, but Musafa interfered. Scar was very angry when the harness told him that Simba had escaped. But he quickly came with a new plan to get rid of Simba and his father. I will be king. Hello, Simba. Hi, Scar. What you doing? Oh, having a great day. How about you, little buddy? So Scar signaled the hyenas to frighten a herd of wildebeest. And the panicked animal stampeded right towards Zimba. And he was holding on to a branch. Musafa looked into the 
gorge and saw his son hanging on the branch with the wildebeest all around him. Son, I have to come get you. Simba was safe, but just then Scar pounced on Musafa. Brother, brother, help me, brother. Oh, really? Long live the king. <laughs> push, push. Oops, oops. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Did you fall down, brother dear? Simbo had been the only father, and he had fallen down, and, and he was stampeded by Zimba ran to Musafa. He tried to wake him, but the Lion King was dead. Dad, 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 dad. Scar came to Simba's side. If it weren't for you, little cub, your father would still be alive. Run away and never return. Shameful young cub to do that. Heartbroken, poor Simba ran away and really believed that it was his fault that his father went to heaven. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I should have listened to my dad. I'm always getting into trouble and, and, and going off so Scar was certain Simba was dead. He went back to Pride Rock and told everyone the news. It was with heavy heart. He lied. Then I become your new king. <laughs> Meanwhile, Simba was far away in Pride's land. The ground turned to dry and cracked beneath him. The sun was hot and above was circling buzzards and vultures. Oh, little Simba will be good to eat. Yeah. But just then... Simba woke, and everything around him was different. There were trees and grass and flowers instead. And then he met a muskrat named Timon and a warthog named Pumba. Hello, who are you? Hello, who are you, long dog? Oh, you nearly died, said Pumba. Yeah, you did. A good thing that we came to your site, little cub. Oh, well, that's so nice of you. Pumba asked Simba, where are you from? But Simba didn't want to even answer. I did something really, really terrible. I know. I just, I did something bad. Oh, you gotta put your troubles behind you, kid, said Timon. No past, no future, no worries. The, the hyenka Mata said, Oh, yeah, you can be our buddy. Years passed and Sim grew to a big lion. And he had lots of fun with his friends, Timon and Pumbaa. One night while he was looking up at the sky, Simba remembered his father's words. Someone once told me that the great king of the past are up there and they look down. The next day, Pimba was chasing a bug when a fierce lioness sprang at him and the, the big grass. He screamed and ran his fast way but got stuck beneath the fallen stars. She's got to eat me! She's got to eat me! Somebody help me! Help! No, no, don't eat my friend! Don't eat my friend! Don't eat my friend! Don't eat my friend! Simba wrestled the lioness, but then he realized it was his friend Nala. Nala, it's you! Nala, it's Simba. Where have you been? Simba, if you don't do something, everyone will starve. Scar has destroyed Pride Lands. Oh, I can't go back, Nala. I can't go back. Remember what I did to my father? But we need you now. It wasn't your fault. Oh, you're friends with that lady, Lion? Simba thought about what Nala had said. I won't go back, he said. Simba, I won't. It won't change anything. Just then Simba heard chanting song in the jungle. Rakifi, the bamboom, came walking toward them. If you want to see your father again, look down there, Ricky said, pointing to the pool of water next to him. See, go see your father there, little, little Simba. Okay, you're big teenager Simba now, but just look into the pool of water. Ah, oh, Simba saw the face of his father staring back at him. You see, said Rakifi, he lives in you. Ah, oh, wow, that's really cool. Simba looked up and saw his father's face in the stars and heard his voice. Look inside yourself, Simba. Remember who you are. You are my son and the one true king. Oh, the next morning, Rikifi found Nala. Hi, what you guys doing? Hello. Oh. <laughs> hi, Nala. Hi, Tim and hi, Pumba. I've got to go back and, and avenge my father. When Simba reached Pride Land, he was saddened what he saw. No trees, no nothing. The place was just an awful disarray. One screen, now a barren under Scar's, Scar's rule. When Simba arrived at Pride Rock, there you are, Scar. I will come to avenge my father. Scar was surprised and frightened. He thought the hyenas had killed Simba long ago. This is my kingdom, shouted Simba. Step down, Scar. Scar ordered the hyenas to attack. They surrounded Simba and drove him to the edge of the cliff. 
<laughs> Come on, Simba. <laughs> We're laughing at you. <laughs> Come on, push, push, push. Oh, whoopsie doopsie, Simba. Did you fall off the cliff? Are you clinging on the cliff's edge? Oh, poor little Simba. At that moment, Nala, Timon, and Pamba arrived, and the battle broke out on Pride Rock. And Simba realized it had been Scar who killed his father. You killed my father. You pushed him off the cliff. It was you, not me. Oh, did you deduct that all on your, you know, on your own? And then Simba trapped Scar on the steep edge of Pride Rock. And then he sprang to life. He ordered his uncle to run away and never turn. Scar pretended to leave, but then turned and lunged at Simba. Simba attacked back and swiped at him. And Scar fell off the rock. Oh, you fool. Look what you did. And then they returned to the jungle and they got married and they had lived happily ever after. The end.